What the heck is up with these squirrels in Texas? These Texas squirrels look pretty weird. Two hours later. Joel Hansen here and today we're at one of the most well-known barbecue spots in all of Texas, in Austin, Texas, especially the Salt Licks. This is their second location. The first one's originally a place called Driftwood. This is in a rolling rock, so just north of Austin. So here we are to do their all-you-can-eat family style barbecue. That's specifically why we're coming here. So this is supposed to be in like the top five or top ten barbecue places and specifically known for its all-you-can-eat option. It's like 27 bucks. Oh, I smell burning wood. I am so damn excited. Barbecue, Texas, hell rap, brother. Let's go get some food. I'm so excited. Welcome to Texas Barbecue. All right, everybody, so here we go. We got the food. So the way this works, essentially, is they just bring you a set of spread. It's all family style. So we ordered all the meats to start. Pork ribs, both fatty brisket, lean brisket, burnt ends, and sausage. Their sauces are really interesting. Um, it's definitely not like a Carolina sauce. It is a lot thicker sauce, but it's also almost like a creamy sauce. So I've never had had a barbecue sauce like that before. We then have, of course, coleslaw. I love coleslaw, I've never tried it. I haven't tried it yet though. Potato salad, and then beans. And they do have some white bread for us as well. So with that, we're basically just gonna dig into it. It looks great. So uh, let's get eating. I'll All start right. probably with a rib. Rib for everybody. Thank you. My pleasure, Mr. Bland. Thank you, sir. So pork ribs, St. Louis style. You can definitely see the smoke ring on it. Looks really good. Ooh, smell that smoke on it. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm. I'm just gonna show off my plate here. I've heard the pork ribs here. Are you one of people's? You usually one of people's favorite items. All right. This is the pork rib. Mm. All right. And I definitely understand why. Super, super tender. Mm. Just fall off the bone. Like literally fall off the bone. Nice and smoky. You get that good salt, that good pepper from Texas. Mm. It is good. It is juicy. It is fatty. There's everything you want in the pork rib and more. Mm. That is so good. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my god. It's really big for a pork rib. They're St. Louis style. So we also ordered more meats already. Because we're gonna need it. That's exceptional. Try some of this sausage. Sausage looks good. Again, very, very joice, juicy. I said joicy. Oh, wow. Excellent cured flavor. I'm just get a bit of a cheese, but just so soft, so tender. Very good. Let me try a burnt end. Burnt ends, people don't know, they're brisket pieces. You should fatter your ends. Extra smoke usually on them. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. very good. Really heavy smoke on it. I'm a big barbecue fan with heavy smoke. I love Texas barbecue. Lean brisket. So this doesn't have a fatty layer in the middle, as the fatty brisket does. So, but you can see an excellent look smoke ring. Very tender. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the second plate, again, sausage, all the briskets. Oh boy. All right, so that lean brisket. All right, so lean brisket, mm. oh. super flavorful. Again, just heavy oh smoke, God. salt, pepper on the outside. Burnt and, yeah, me too. And for, you know, again, very soft, not dry for a lean brisket. Here we have the fatty brisket. This is my favorite, look at this. Like it's like, it's not even together. You can see right through it. 
And look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Mm. All right, let me try this biscuit. Oh boy. So which part of the biscuit is this? That's the fatty biscuit. Fatty biscuit. She got a nice fat layer. Mm. Mm. Right. Oh boy. Mm. 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 How is that? Mm. Good. Really good. We got Blaine over here too. He's not technically in the mm. video, just because I need to be intimate with my barbecue, but I love Blaine. Mm. Great guy. Here we got some coleslaw. This looks absolutely delicious as well. Can you this is the lean? That is the lean, yeah. Okay. Looks like more of a vinegar-based coleslaw, not like a creamy coleslaw. That's exactly what it is. Got some fennel. Celery seed in there. It's very, very acidic. Almost like the level of, uh, like, definitely a lot of vinegar in there. I described it almost like pickle juice. Can I see another pork rib? Absolutely. This pork rib is actually my favorite. Out of all the meat, pork this ribs. is so good. St. Louis ribs are great. But yeah, that coleslaw, exceptional. Like, it cuts all the fat. Go for another burnt end. That one's a little tougher on the outside, but still got that really good smoke. I like it. I can tell this is definitely going to be worth the $27. It already is. I like having the meat with the pizza. Mm -hmm. Good flavors, right? Dallas is Dallas. Yeah, already these pork ribs, are, yeah, they're phenomenal. Really well done. So juicy. Help yourself, folks. Get another. Oops. Oh no. Still good. Casualty. It's still good. This is a really, really end of a fatty brisket. Oh boy. Ooh. Mm. Now got so much smoke on the end. That fat was caramelized, perfectly rendered. Hot damn, I love Texas. Mm. There's actually so much pepper on it. Yeah, I'm almost getting like a spiciness in my mouth. I actually love the meat brisket. Meat is really good flavor. You guys want some? Help yourself. Yes, yeah, sure. You can take it if you want. More sausage. I haven't used any sauce yet. You definitely don't need to. No, a lot of pep, a lot of pepper so in this. Huh. Better try these beans. Little barbecue beans. Try these beans. So it's a very, very mild tasting bean. It's not overly sweet at all. In fact, I wouldn't call it sweet at all, really. Not a sweet bean. Not always salty. I call it very, very basic. Very, very, very basic. Big bean. It's not bad. It's just, compared to the flavors of the meats, it's being a little overshunt, but phenomenal. Go back to some of this coleslaw. It's really, really good. How is everything? It's, it's amazing. We get um if we get like a whole plate of ribs and then a whole plate of brisket, brisket would yeah. that be possible? Yeah. Another round. <laughs> some more of these beautiful pork Jeez. ribs. I like onions. I, yeah. More of the brisket and some sausage. Lean, fatty, and burnt ends. Everybody have a rib? Yes. These are really good. Woo. Just look at that. Huge. Perfect. Huge rib. And they're so moist, so juicy. Nice and hot. <laughs> Alright guys, we are Doing out great. here. I'm gonna try this in the sauce, so I feel like this is really good the barbecue sauce. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna dip it. So good. You guys don't mind if I dip this in, I, right? I don't care. We've shared saliva all trip. Wow. That sounds a little <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I don't know between you guys how you've been sharing saliva, but <laughs> See how smooth that came off? Oh! 
Alright. Such a nice breeze, good. dude. Very, very good. This is delicious. As long as it doesn't start to rain. Now we're good. We got it. We'll go right under here. I will. I will keep eating. Good work. That's the ambiance. It's so good. More of them delicious looking burnt ends. And we'll move the uh, burnt end. Is that the mild? Uh, heavy smoke. Oh boy. So good. Oh my gosh. Look at this fatty brisket. It's just falling apart. Like it barely stays together. So good. Oh. I will say on the burnt ends, I'm getting a little less pepper and salt, and more just an intense beef and fat and smoke. Whereas I'm not sure if it's just the way they coated them, or I definitely get a little bit more salt and pepper on the brisket, more versus the burnt end. But it's still damn delicious. I am the big sausage. Lover. I just love my beef. Oh. I actually really like this lean brisket. You like the lean brisket? Yeah. What do you think of it versus the fatty brisket? Um, they both have their own like good good and bad. Yeah. If I eat too much of the fatty brisket, I'm definitely gonna like feel like like overwhelming just because there's so much fat. It is fatty, but yeah. this is still really like tender. It's still moist. For it being a lean pot. But it's really good. And again, you still get the good smoke on it. No complaints. I love a scoop of beans and lots of beans. Oh, you know what? Like I haven't even tried yeah. this uh, potato salad. It's, got... it's an orange potato salad. So I'm eating. So potato salad's really nice. Rich, creamy. You have to get that nice mayonnaise flavor in there. Perkins. But I guarantee it has this barbecue sauce in it. It's really nice though. I actually really like it. Like that barbecue sauce, it almost gives it a little bit of the heat, a little bit of sweetness. That's what gives it the color. Would recommend, it's very good. Y'all, this is perfect. Good barbecue, with good friends. Can't beat it. Texas. Yeah. Texas is right. Oh, I love Texas. Got some more brisket, just plain brisket. I didn't want any more sausage, but we'll get some more eventually. I also got some ribs, a little smaller, but they look absolutely delicious still. So, have some ribs, folks. An umbrella just flew across the, flew across the yard. Almost hit somebody. That was a little technical difficulty. All the hazards we're eating outside, we'll just get rid of the umbrella. So we don't die. I'm still eating. Small technical difficulties, but Mother Nature. Yeah, Mother Nature. But Mother Nature gave me animals, meat, and I'm okay with that. Burn in. Salt pepper on it. Exactly what I needed. Fatty brisket. Mm. Oh, so good. That fat. These fatty brisket just is. It just like it just pulled apart. You can see right through it. Oh boy. I have no words. I'm just so thankful for the day. So thankful for this meat. It's like a spiritual experience. All right. Thank you, Texas.
Burnhead. Oh boy. Oh. Lean. This is the lean, but has part of that little less or a little more fatty end on it. But you can definitely see the difference between the textures of the lean. It's still pulling apart, it's still very tender, but just not as fatty. A little bit of fat that is on it, it's perfectly rendered. It really takes flavor of that smoke. I'm just speechless. Ah, oh, so good. I'm gonna try I'll try to try the brisket in the sauce, but it really doesn't need it. Well, there's a bit of mustard in there too, that's what it is. There we go, we got some more ribs, some more brisket, we have some fatty and it's, I think it's supposed to be some lean or mostly just burnt ends. Maybe just fatty and burnt ends, but I'm alright with it. Fatty brisket. Oh. Swim my beer for a little while. Just look at that. See the ridges in the meat? They just fall apart. Got some really nice piece of brisket on that. Burnt ends, lots of fatty, lots of lean, very heavy, and some nice ribs. I would like buy a bottle if I could bring it on an airplane. Oh, one of those big, juicy ribs. It, this one's just dripping. Dripping juices. Oh. I think they're just getting better. Woo wee. Oh my gosh, that burnt end is extra juicy, extra fatty. Oh. Mm. oh, wow. <sighs> so These good. burnt ends are good. It's good. Oh. No, like I ate an extra. You guys are wondering why I'm dying up here. It's so good. Oh. It's funny, you can tell the difference in brisket. Like this is definitely a different brisket than the last plate we have. The last plate I found had a little bit more texture, a little tougher. This one's a lot, this one's a lot more supple. Yeah, like I have like three or four slices. Thank you, dog. For creating cows. For, for yeah, barbecue and animals. Yeah, I like the fatty and the bread a little more than the lean, but 
It's all good. I just like that, that fat, that richness. Have a little bit of this potato salad. It is really good, I like it. Yeah, nice to have some onions in there. It breaks up the meat a little bit. The taste of the meat. We have some more coleslaw coming as well. Got some more ribs, yeah. more brisket. I'm just All happy. Three. We're just, it's a good day. So you guys really don't want to do this. Are you right? It's definitely different wow. brisket again. Yeah. Thicker. Alright, it's raining, so I'm just moving my camera under the thing, umbrella. Uh, it might just kind of be on me from here on. Let's see if that works. Ribs. Maybe the pig. Mm. Oh. Juicy. You see that? Look at that glisten. Raina and Blaine are cutting it. I could go all day, baby. Turn that dial all the way. Shooting like a rocket into space. Loving every minute of it. Ow, ow. I can still walk, luckily. You can, okay. <laughs> I, I checked, I checked. Okay, it might be a little wobbly, but you can make it. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, of course. If y'all need anything else, y'all just let me know, okay? Well, thank you. Okay. What do I do? I, I don't know. Shelly Whatever you want. All right, guys. Joel's turn to do one by challenge. Ready? Alright, so pretty much finished up. I just got, excuse me, last bite of lean brisket. A little bit of coleslaw left. May get a little bit more, but no, that's about it. Folks are ready to head out of here. I've had a good bit, so we'll see what happens. Maybe one more. It's good though.
I could do for some dessert though, that's what I feel like. Hi everyone, I think they put some music on. I think that's them trying to get rid of us, so <laughs> maybe we'll head out. I couldn't help myself while we're here. So I got another plate of burn ends. They are really good. These ones look nice and extra juicy. Look at that, just like so, so much permeation of that smoke. Excuse me. So good. So juicy, so fatty, sweet, smoky. Oh, it just stood out pretty well. So smoky. This one, like all eating this plate of burnt ends, extra smoky burnt ends. Oh. I can feel it in your mouth. As long as if you're smoking some. Not that I know what it feel like, but it's like you're chewing tobacco in there and your mouth just tingling. All that pepper. <laughs> That's right. I have you look at this. See it. I'm gonna pack a dip. Like Whenever you see cowboys pack chews, it's actually just a piece of burnt ends. <laughs> it's, it's just the same effect. All right, brother. All right. All right. Alright, so that's all. Really a good time here at Salt Lake. My mouth is gone peppery and salty on fire. Super good, really love the food. Thanks for Blaine and Raina for coming out. Right now, Blaine. So that everybody, until next time, see how they be happy. How they hungry, happy eating. And happy Texas. I love you. Happy Texas. <laughs> and they're such nice people here. Oh, the crust kind of broke, but they gave us a chocolate chip pecan pie. How nice is that? This is worth like six or seven bucks, so hell right, brother. Salt Lake, would recommend. I guess I might as well try the pie here because it looks good. I've never had a chocolate chip pecan pie. The crust kind of fell off, so I'll give it to Raina. Here, Raina, eat this crust. What? You're not on camera. One by challenge, one by challenge, one by challenge. Land here, eat this crust. Oh, yes. There you go. I'll just grab one. Ah, uh, yeah, I won't feed. All right, and here we go. Chocolate chip pecan pie. Damn, this is a nice size slice. Texas. Oh, there's thunder. Damn. All right. Super pecan flavor. Pecan pie. Lots of chocolate. Never had with the chocolate before. It's not overly sweet, surprisingly. <coughs> but this filling is very, like, thick. But it's super pecan tasty. It's good. I like it. 
That's all me. All of it. Definitely some of my other experiences of like other legit pecan pies from the south. A lot more pecan, rich on that barbecue sauce on me. But not as sugary sweet. Sure you guys don't want to try? Alright. Alright. Cheers. Joel is the dessert man. I guess so. What the heck is up with these squirrels in Texas? These Texas squirrels look pretty weird. And they just want to frickin' do stuff to each other that I can't even speak of. Just look at them. Oh, there go, there go, no. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go hide in there. Weird squirrels. Hello, squirrel. I know, I, put, I made a post. I know, you made an Instagram story. Hi. What's up, bro? Hello. What do you have to say for yourself? Squirrel. Squirrel. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? Blaine's cap. He's like, what? How you make that noise, woman? Look at my celery. Nice. 